Landing over. Roger, understand. Go for landing. 3,000 feet. Eagle looking great. Altitude 1,600. Eagle looking great. We copy you down, Eagle. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. <laughs> Admiral Bird, you've been to both the North Pole and the South Pole. Is there any yes. unexplored land left on this earth that might appeal to adventurous young Americans? Uh, yes, there is. But strangely enough, there's left in the world today an area as big as the United States that's never been seen by a human being. And that's beyond the pole on the other side of the South Pole from Middle America. And it's, uh, I think it's quite astonishing that there should be an area as big as that unexplored. Well, this is a tremendous So challenge. there's a lot of adventure left mm. down at the bottom of the world. Well, well, to start today on an organized and well-supported space program. Three I believe a practical task immediately on. clamped on the outside to protect it from meteors. The first work day in space draws to a close. Every 24 hours, the shell of the station is completed. Now comes a delicate task. flight crew.
crew has completed the final launch vehicle range safety checks. At T minus 50 seconds, the launch vehicle will be on full internal power. That begins the actual launch sequence. The weather is reported good, scattered clouds at 10,000 feet. All systems are go, all lights are green. We're at T minus 3 minutes, 6 seconds, mark. was it we were really celebrating? Three men who had done what no man before had done? A technological feat that was believed beyond the realm of possibility? The fulfillment of an age-old dream? Were we celebrating simply because it had been a long time since we'd had anything to celebrate? Or was this something that touched an irrational, unthinking instinct in us all? Here is the real reason for the fake moon landings. You just proved by putting a man on the moon. One, the moon is a rock in space. And two, the earth is a little blue ball floating in space. Now nobody will ever suspect he is living on a gigantic ball. Now the Phoenix worshippers have a whole new planet for themselves. Mission accomplished. Bigger lies will follow. Everybody starts sending supplies to their bases. When the public demands an explanation for the trillions of dollars spent, the main alibis are 1. The building of the fake space station ISS 2. The launch of fake satellites The exploration of the fake space. All of these lies are amplified by the mind control machine.
So, you need people for the bigger earth. How do you do that? Well, you invent the story of the secret space program. During the war, the Nazis were experimenting with anti-gravitation. After the war, this technology was brought to the United States. By now, the United States have some super advanced spacecraft. and they are building bases on the moon and on Mars. Hey, aren't you interested? Sure, they put you on a high-speed underground train and they tell you you are on a spacecraft flying to Mars. They release you on the bigger Earth and there you see a different sun and you breathe different air. So, now you think you are on Mars. So, you think you are on a little red ball flying in space and the people on Earth think they are flying on a little blue ball in space. Mission accomplished. Possibility 1. The shuttle lands on the bigger Earth and is used there to transport people and supplies. The pilot is brought back to Earth with some other transport. That would take several days. In the meantime, the astronauts are doing studio work and are playing little blue ball in the solar system. When the pilot has returned, they embark, take off and land for the public eye. Landing gear down and locked. In case someone sees the takeoff, you have several shuttles. It was another one. Possibility 2. The pilot returns to base after drop-off. 
lands on a military base. After a few days, they embark, take off and land for the public eye. I would go for possibility one. Why wait several days and do studio work? The more studio work you do, the bigger the risk of being caught. Another argument is, the Russians are building exactly the same shuttle, the Buran. That could imply there is one technical plan for usage on the bigger Earth. That confirms the idea there is only one global ruling world government. This is not standard, this is not something that is planned, of course. One of the Apollo missions was closer to home, Apollo 15. The reason was Crater Hadley Sea, situated in the tape. The tape is the area where you have an equal day and night, similar to our crater. Second reason is the ice on the bottom of the crater or on top of the reflection Mars. If you want to colonize the bigger Earth, you need water, which they probably found. After returning to the LEM to load equipment, they moved to a nearby location to set up a science station similar to those left on previous missions. Lots of Mars landers have been sent to Hadley Sea. I thought, like a lot of alternative media, all these images were shot in the desert of Utah. But now I think these are real pictures from the area of Hadley Sea. They are mapping out this area, but they are using the old trick of putting it on a ball and present it to us as Mars. In the beginning, you had the myth of the red planet, but in the meantime, they have changed the color of the images. And by now, you can see the climate and colors are very similar to ours, including the sun. For the moment, you have the mind-controlled Elon Musk taking over. Clearly a figurehead, called after a figure from a book of Werner von Braun, with the looks of James Dean. But I have the impression the MK Ultra programming is not working very good. Uh, I would never believe that this would ever happen. Uh, yeah, I just think, you know, the humanity landing on the moon, man, that was maybe the greatest thing ever. Maybe the greatest thing ever. Um, Would you get in it and take a ride? Yeah, uh, I'd be happy to go in the vehicle. Um, 
I think it's I think it's good design. A lot of hard, crazy amount of hard work from a lot of smart people at SpaceX. Expand on that, thanks. Well, I think like the, the obvious thing would be, you know, if, if um, there are you know, uh, sort of private citizens that want to go to the space station, as has happened before, that they've, they've always gone on on the uh, Soyuz before. You know. He is pumping the media full with hoaxes. is supported by an army of mind control children. Oh. Look at that. I think the purpose of the vertical rockets is to land on a surface, refuel and take off again. That way you can put people on the ground safely and maybe return. Under the pretext of course of sending supplies to the ISS. Finally, I hope they haven't encountered life yet on the bigger earth. Because humanity will be represented by psychopaths and you know what will happen to them? How well, this, warm Mars up? You know, this, it's, it's this a the long fast way, way from the sun. It's the fast way uh, and the slow way. Okay. Uh, give, me, <laughs> give, me the, give me the fast way. The fast way is, is drop thermonuclear weapons over the poles. You're a supervillain. <laughs> That's what a supervillain does. Yeah.